robot suit HAL, or hybrid assistive limb, allows its user to easily lift a 40 kilogram Duralumin case, like this. Now look what happens if an elderly person who has been bound to a wheelchair wears the suit. She walked smoothly. It's amazing. I was surprised. <laughs> this hospital in Yamaguchi, Western Japan, has been leasing this robot suit for about $2,000 per month. The staff hope the suit will help patients remember what it feels like to walk, leading to faster rehabilitation. Hifumi Fukushima, who is 74 years old, suffered a stroke twice. With his lower body paralyzed, he has been unable to walk for the past five years. But look at what happens when he wears the robot suit. When I go upstairs, I'm surprised I can lift my feet this way. This is how HAL works. When a person tries to move his leg, electrical impulses flow from the brain to the leg muscles. The sensor detects the brain signals and sends commands to the motor. Then, the robot suit begins to assist the leg muscles. This occurs the instant the person thinks to move his legs. HAL was developed by Professor Yoshiyuki Sankai of the University of Tsukuba Graduate School. He is also the CEO of a venture firm called Cyberdyne. Then the professor spent four years finding the proper timing for conveying the electrical signals to the motor. But with a computer and a battery pack, the suit weighed 22 kilograms. It took two people to help put the suit on. It was far short of being practical. But HAL now weighs less than 10 kilograms, half that of the test model, and a compact battery pack and computer are neatly set around the waist. HAL comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. This year, the venture firm began mass production of the suits. Inquiries have flooded in from hospitals and other care facilities, both in-country and abroad. It will make 500 units a year. Up to now, robots had been simply the result of some academic research. But finally, they've begun to be useful in our daily lives. Sankai is now developing a full body model. He believes such devices will help reduce the burden for care workers. The suit will allow a wearer to easily carry a man weighing 60 kilograms. Sankai hopes to complete a marketable model next year. Some care workers are forced to quit their jobs because of lower back pain, even though they desperately want to help those who need care. I want to provide technological support for such workers. Robot suits have begun to be used in the fields of rehabilitation and nursing care. And as its use spreads, the high-tech device may be the suit of choice for Japan's rapidly graying society and those who help care for them. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto.